Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to paint your airsoft rifle. I uh, currently have all my uppers painted with a base coat. So I'm doing a two-tone base on these rifles. I'm just doing it quick and easy. I'm not disassembling them at all really. Just trying to get these done so I can use them this year. And then I'm going to put some cedar branches on the exterior, tie those on the twine, and then spray paint my last layer on through there to give me a nice camouflage pattern. I'm using a foliage green and a dark brown for my base. And then over here I have all my Duracoat and I'm using uh, that called Dark Earth. So that's my plan. We'll see how it goes and I'll give you an update as soon as I have all my cedar branches on. I now have all the uh, cedar branches tied on to my rifle uppers and rifle. So how I did this is I took big branches and tied them on to fill out the majority of my rifle and then I took smaller branches and tucked them in. I also blew off I used air to blow off any dust or loose material that could be on them. So now next is painting and I'll get back to you when that's done. So the painting is all done now. I have put five coats on all of my rifle parts. I've done five because the cedars are very dense so I just want to make sure I get a good coverage over everything so I'm gonna let it dry for a couple hours and then come and unwrap them. I wanted to show you quick what I use for my airbrush. I just have a cheap hobby airbrush that I use to spray my Duracoat. So nothing special, just was I think it was about 30 bucks. So so this is the final product from my painting job. As you can see it turned out fairly well. I was just using the colors that I had on hand so this is the final product. Turned out fairly well. I was hoping for more stencil effect but it will do for now. Wasn't that hard to do so now I have matching guns. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the field.